Now, every human has a humanly routine. For example, some people bite their nails, some people shave before they get in the shower, some people shave in the shower, but I've never seen a girl pee in the shower and never again will I want to. This story does get intense and kind of crazy, so before anything, make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. And on top of that, not to mention, I'm currently live on Twitch, so if you guys do want to watch me tell these stories live and have fun with you guys, there's a place to go. Link is down in the description. Other than that, let's get straight into this. What is going on, you guys? My name is Bubba, and welcome back to another crazy story. So today's story, funny enough, is something that I honestly did not want to tell, but in a way, I kind of just was reminded of this the other day when I was streaming on Twitch, and I remember this was the most weirdest thing ever, and I, to this day, I'm so weirded out. But basically, I remember back when I was in high school, there was this new dating app that came out that was, like, known for, like, high schoolers, basically, and it kind of went, like, viral all over the place. Like, you can meet chicks on the UK, you can meet chicks from all over the world, and me being Mr. Worldwide, I mean, obviously, I'm gonna go on that app, so I remember I went on that app, and I swiped here and there and I met a couple girls. But funny enough, some of these girls were actually from my hometown and I remember asking them to meet up one time, hang out, you know, all that cool stuff. Me being in high school, you know, simple thing. It's like going on a Tinder date. I remember I ended up going to the mall and I met up with one of these girls and this girl was like, all right, you know, she was just a basic girl. Nothing was wrong with her. She didn't seem psychotic. You know, she had blonde hair. She had, you know, big cherries. Like she, she was like the typical girl I'd usually go for. But this is where things get really weird. I remember as like, we were like walking around and stuff in the mall, we went into the store called Lush. Now Lush is like a store where it's like you can buy soap, bath bombs, bazookas, not bazookas, I'm, I'm joking, but you know what I mean, like bath bombs. And she looks over at one, she's like, oh my goodness, I love bath bombs, we should take a bath tonight. I look at her and I'm like, I'm not even going home with you, what? Like I was just so confused and I remember what ended up happening was that she invited me over and she's like, oh like just please come over, like we'll try this bath bomb, like I'll buy it right now if you go with me. And me knowing that I was probably gonna end up going home to a chick and you know, doing the devil's tango. Well this is what I mean by saying yes to things in life, I said yes to this. And I remember she ended up buying the bath bath bomb. It was like something like pink and rainbowy. And I remember we ended up going around the mall even more and she started talking about weird conversations. Like what are my kinks? If I liked feet and like, you know, all this weird stuff that honestly no one should be asking a normal human, especially on the first day of meeting them. But then I look at her and I'm like, so like, what do you want to do? She looks at me and she's like, you know what? Like, let's just leave the mall and go back to my place right now. As she said that, she was kind of like putting her fingers around my chest and it was kind of like, what? I don't know. It was ultimately just weird champ Andy. And I just, I didn't know what to think. So I remember what ended up happening was we started walking over to her place and as we walked over i remember we ended up going inside her apartment and we got there apparently she lived with her brother but her brother was like never home which i guess in a way was a really good thing and then i remember we started going on her balcony we talked for a bit and then one thing led to another she pulls out the bath bomb in the living room she's like let's go use this she instantly comes over to me and starts making out with me and then she's like let's go into the shower okay sure whatever i'm down like you know i won't say no to that so i remember we ended up you know going all the way to the shower me personally i'd rather go to the bedroom but you know losers can't be choosing and instantly she starts getting, you know, undressed. I get undressed. And yes, one thing did lead to another. We ended up doing the devil's tango before we actually ended up even getting into the shower. Let's just say, I guess things got straight to the point. But I remember when we ended up actually eventually getting into the shower, which was like 10 minutes later, we turn on the water, you know, we get ready. And then I realized that as me and her are like making out, I feel something weird and warm going down my leg. Now, at first I'm like, okay, like what is going on? But then I kind of look down and I see that she was literally peeing in the shower when I was with her in there. And you guys are probably thinking, oh no, it's probably just the water you're feeling. Don't make her like embarrassed. No, it was definitely her peeing and I'll tell you why. Because when you turn on a shower, it takes like a minute for shower water to go like into like hot water and me knowing that I could literally look down and see yellow urine hitting the floor. Yeah, I hate to break it to you. She was definitely peeing. I remember I looked at her and I looked down and I'm like, oh my goodness. Like I literally said that. I said, oh my goodness in front of a chick in the shower. This was hilarious. And then I remember I ended up literally jumping jumping out of the shower. Like I literally jumped out of there. Like I was like a rabbit, like a kangaroo for God's sakes. And then I remember I literally like moved back and I'm like, whoa, like you're literally peeing in the shower. She looks at me. She's like, no, 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 it wasn't. It was just a warm water. I don't know what you're saying. She's acting like it, nothing happened. Yeah, right. Like I know I'm not looking for trouble here, people. I ended up going into another bathroom at her place because luckily she had two and I ended up washing myself off. I'm like, ew, I'm disgusted. I don't even know anymore. And then as I cleaned myself off, I realized that I left my clothing in the other bathroom. So I went back to the other bathroom and I saw she already made a bath for herself and she was about to put the bath bomb in. But as I walk in to get my clothes, she looks at me. She's like, hey, like, do you want to come into the bath now? Or are you going to be such a wuss? Excuse me? A wuss? You just peed on me. Like, I don't know what she was thinking. And then I remember in my head, I was thinking, you know what? It's fine. I cleaned it off. Maybe I could just go into the bath with her and everything will be fine. Yeah, was I wrong about that? I remember she ended up farting in the bath as I'm literally standing, like not that far away from it. Like I literally saw bubbles, guys. I'm not trying to prank anyone here. I'm not trying to lie to anyone here in this video. Like she literally 
literally made bubbles in the pool. She made it a good jacuzzi. Like, I don't even know what to think anymore. I was disgusted. Like, if I could mention like a hundred things that grosses me out, I think this was the main thing that grossed me out. Cause in a way I got to see a girl pee on me and fart in the tub at the same day. Like at this point, I don't even want to know what she does in public pools. At this point, things were just getting worse to worse to worse. And I didn't want to be there anymore. So I got my clothes. I got changed and I started leaving. But as I started leaving, she put on a towel around herself and she walked up to me. She's like, I don't understand. Like what's wrong with you? And the more I looked at her, don't get me wrong. She had nice cherries and blonde hair, but as she looked at me, she just ended up burping. And I'm like, okay, no, that's the final straw. That's the final straw. I don't want to see this anymore. I literally told her, listen, I don't think it's the best for us to talk and stuff. And I ended up leaving that place. As I left, I remember she messaged me on that dating app thing again. She's like, hey, like maybe we can try again. Like, honestly, like I understand like if things aren't good for you right now, like, I don't know. She was just trying to make some dumb excuse or something for me not being there. And I'm going to be honest. The only reason I wasn't there was because, well, I was grossed the hell out. But other than that, girls, boys, anyone watching this damn video, please understand that you guys should not pee on anyone. No matter if you pee in the shower. Like, I know a lot of you guys that are watching this video do pee in the shower, but just don't. Don't do it when someone else is there, okay? I, I don't care. Just don't do it. All right, so what is going on, you guys? My name's Bubba, and welcome back to another insane story. So today's story actually takes place, funny enough, not that long ago. And by not that long ago, I mean actually two years ago. You see, two years ago today, I was just getting into my YouTube career. I just started streaming a lot more, and honestly, I really started to figure my life out, realizing that I was more built to make YouTube videos than actually being called Bubba Streams. Which is kind of funny, because I have a channel called Bubba, and then there's Bubba Streams. So it's kind of awkward having both, but at the same time, you guys get the gist. Also, for the people saying that I don't stream, I do stream a lot, actually, and I stream a lot more on Kick.com. If you guys don't know what that is, it's a new website that basically every creator is going to, including me. So I highly advise you guys go check it out, kick.com slash Bubba, and the link will be down in the description below. But going on with the story, two years ago today, I remember basically one of the most craziest things happened, where basically I remember one time I was going on my phone, messaging some girls, you know, doing the same old average thing that I usually do. And since I lived by myself two years ago and still do technically, I won't lie, it gets really lonely living by yourself. So I remember I would always invite people, including like a lot of girls, guys sometimes to hang out with me and just chill, you know, simple things like that. But then I remember there was one girl that I actually ended up reaching out to, and this was a girl that was added on my Snapchat a long time ago. And by a long time ago, I mean like back when I was in high school a long time ago. Now this girl and I, we always had each other added, but we never really hit each other up. I think I added her from like a dating app or something. To be honest, I'm not really sure. But all I remember is, is that I sent a photo of like my place basically of how I like changed the look of it somewhat. And for some reason, this girl decided to swipe up that day on that image I posted on Snapchat. And she ended up saying, oh my goodness, like your place looks so cool. Me knowing she said that, honestly, first thing I decided to say to kind of like pull in the W Riz was, oh yeah, like you should come over and check it out sometime. And right when I said that, I'm not even joking. She jumped the opportunity like no tomorrow. Like no joke. She jumped straight forward saying, oh, like I'd be down. Like when are you free? Uh, I guess today is what I told her. And then from there, I remember she got really excited and ended up saying that she'll be there around later at night. I ended up asking her why she wanted to come at late at night. And she ended up saying that she was going to work and she had to work a full shift before coming to see me. And funny enough, her work wasn't actually even that far from me. She apparently worked at a club that was literally like a two minute walk from my place. So I said, sure, like I'm down and me thinking that she's literally going to come off work and basically come straight to my house. My guess was that she was probably going to stay the night because I don't know after a hard day of work, do you really want to like, you know, bus all the way back home? I know I wouldn't. So I remember from there, I basically got cleaning up the place even more and basically made sure everything was ready. And then I remember midway through her shift, I remember I ended up getting a phone call. Now I found it weird that she called me because I never gave her my number. So I found it super weird. So when I answered the phone and I heard her voice, I said, oh, like, yo, by the way, like, how'd you get this number? As we're like mid conversation about what we're going to do tonight, she ended up saying how apparently she knew a friend that was a friend of mine as well that had my number. I don't know, some stalker stuff. I, I won't lie to you. And I found it awkward, but I said, oh, like, it's fine. Like, you know, that's chill, whatever it is, what it is. And then basically just started talking about what I had planned. I ended up telling her how I was just going to order sushi and to be honest, watch a movie because that's all I really wanted to do personally. But then she ended up saying, oh, like, okay, like, that's fine. Also, is it cool if I shower at your place? You want to shower at my place is what I said. And then she ended up explaining how she doesn't want to stink while being with me and stuff because she literally just gets off work. And in my mind, I thought, yeah, it's true. In clubs, you do get stinky, you know, since she works at a club. So I ended up telling her it was fine and that, you know, I'll have a towel set up for her. And at that point, I remember right afterwards, she ended up asking, oh, like, do you have like a pair of sweatpants? Yeah, I, I, I do, is what I said. And it got to the point where it was super weird for me because not only was she going to come over and shower, she was also going to literally wear my clothing, which is, I guess, awkward in its own situation. 
situation. But I decided to pull it aside and say, you know what? We're older now. We're adults. Who cares? You know, it's just clothing and taking a shower. It can't be that big of a deal. Anyways, as the day was going on, I remember basically I kept doing my work, which was basically streaming and recording and making these crazy videos that you guys enjoy. And then I ended up getting a message midway through a recording where it was her saying, oh, like I got off early. I'm going to come over. Wait, what? Apparently she literally cut four hours off her shift just to like come over, I guess, and see me. I have no idea. But as odd as it sounded, I remember I said, you know, it's whatever. It's fine. And I ended up letting her come over. When she came over, I remember I went downstairs since I live in an apartment and basically went to go get her and brought her upstairs. And when I brought her into my place, I'm not going to lie. She was amazed that I was a YouTuber, but not only that, she found it really awesome how I did it full time. And by the way, make sure you just do leave a like on this video because like I said, it's my full time job to make these videos. So please show some love. Anyways, going on from there, I remember basically as I, like me and her were just talking and we sat on the couch, she instantly got up after like two minutes of sitting down on the couch telling me how her work shift was and said, okay, like, so like, can I take a shower? I ended up saying, yeah. And I ended up basically taking her to the bathroom. I showed her around just to make sure she kind of gets the gist of the area, I guess. And she automatically said, oh, like, okay. And then that's when I started to leave the bathroom. But as I started to leave the bathroom, I remember this girl was like, uh, where are you going? I'm, I'm going, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving to go to my desk is what I said to her. And then she ended up saying, oh, like, you're not going to join me for the shower. Uh, why would I do that? Is what I said. And then that's automatically when she started taking off her clothing. And I realized that this girl wanted to do the devil's tango right off the bat. And well, if you know me well enough, you know that I never turned down the devil's tango. So at that point, I remember I started taking off my clothing. We went into the shower and we ended up doing the devil's tango in the shower. So as we were doing it in the shower, I remember basically the hot water was put all the way to the max because you know i guess she likes taking hot showers and me and her we were just doing it but i remember as i was hitting it from the back out of nowhere and i mean it this was literally out of nowhere she told me that you know she was tired and she needed to stop i remember i like literally stopped everything i was doing and i literally decided to literally say okay well like you know i'll stop and then for some reason she was you know, basically doing her normal shower routine, but out of nowhere, and I mean it, this was really out of nowhere, the girl ended up fainting. She fainted in my shower. Now, at that point, I was freaking out. I was thinking, whoa, okay, what's going on here? What, why, why'd she just faint? I thought she was maybe trolling, so I remember I ended up saying, okay, just get up, stop joking around, but she wasn't getting up. So at that point, I was freaking out. I'm like, okay, this is not good. This is the worst thing that could probably happen. Okay, this is really bad. So I start freaking out. I start, you know, panicking, and it got to the point where I decided to do the one thing that I was told to do when someone faints. And that's when I called 911. I remember I called 911 and automatically the ambulance came and, you know, one thing led to another. I had to explain to the cops what happened. When I looked at the police officers, the police officers looked at me really weird because my hair was wet and so was hers. So they looked at me and said, oh, like, were you guys just at the pool? Oh, no, we were, we were in the shower. Oh, so this is your girlfriend is what the cop said to me. Um, no, it's just a girl that I um decided to hang out with for the first time today is what I said afterwards. He looked at me really awkwardly and said, so you guys were in the shower together and then she just fainted? And then that's what I told him that I inserted my massive eggplant into her and uh, one thing led to another, she fainted. I remember the cops looked at me super awkwardly and like, out of nowhere, like the cop was just really weirded out because, you know, it's not normal for a guy with such a massive eggplant, aka me, to make a girl faint out of nowhere. So at that point, I remember basically he ended up saying, oh, like, do you want to come with her to the hospital? And as much as I didn't want to personally, I knew that the cop already had a bad idea of me. So I decided to be a nice guy and basically tag along for the ride and go to the, all the way to the hospital just to realize that her blood sugar was low. Yeah, don't get me wrong. It was a super awkward experience, but it's one thing for sure to say that hopefully maybe you know next time maybe she should eat like a cookie before i do her in the shower hey guys let's get straight into the video so obviously like i said this is the time when i got caught in the shower now this is actually a really crazy story and many people are like oh how do you get caught in the shower that's crazy like it doesn't make any sense and i get that and i respect that i i, I can see how you guys like you know would laugh at that in a sense but this all takes place back in high school so like i said earlier and a lot of you guys don't believe me for some reason but i was a stud back in high school i was pretty outgoing you know i i had that time where, you know, I'm not going to lie where, you know, I was just going full on just F boy mode, as most people would say. Am I proud of it? No, I lost a lot of good friendships from being that way. But at the same time, though, it wouldn't be where I, I wouldn't be here today if I wasn't that way. So 
Yay, me back then. Never mind. Anyways, like I was saying, so back in high school, I had this friend group, and me and this friend group were really chill. We we're all homies. We've done a lot of adventures together, which you guys will hear in these stories. But at the same time, obviously, when it comes to a friend group, it connects to more people. And let's just say throughout these people, there was this one singular person. And this person was a wonderful girl and she was just outstanding if you guys are wondering why i'm being very vague when i talk about the girls in these stories or for example the girls i do the devil's tango with is because honestly people are starting to claim that they know these people and stuff and people are like saying like oh it's me he's talking about me even though i never really met the person so i'm being very vague on that because i know you guys are trying to do your research on me ever since i got put on famous birthdays it's really cool by the way go boost me but at the same time though anyways like i was saying though me and this girl exchanged snapchats we were really chill with each other and honestly we we're just good friends but for some reason for me back then just being a good friends with a girl wasn't really a common thing <laughs> like if i didn't already do the devil's tango with them i just don't know like it just doesn't make sense to me like i said there's not really a thing called guy friends to girls i mean there is unless you know they were gay i guess that's where the term gay best friend is from anyways so like i was saying me and her started flirting with each other and, you know of course you know we started getting down and nasty and talking about how we should you know do the devil's tango and you know that's what we ended up planning out so after school one day me and this chick got into my silica if you guys don't want a silica this is my beautiful baby car i miss with a passion we sat inside it we went straight to her place and we got there now if you guys are wondering no her parents weren't home apparently her parents were like out on like a trip or something and like her dad was in town but like he was at work so technically she had the whole place to herself since she was an only child which is a good thing i mean you know it was just safe and stuff and you know i felt more comfortable that way because who really wants to do it when their parents are home like it's like it's not really a big thing to really do and you know me and her we started talking we started watching a movie and stuff but to be honest i'm not gonna lie me and this girl smelled really bad and it's not like it was her smelling really bad it was also me because if you guys don't know we had the terry fox run that day and if you guys know what terry fox run is it's basically you know where you know canada basically runs around like either a city or a school or something or run laps around the field for terry fox it's a good cause honestly good thing good thing indeed but in the sense of me you know me and her at her place sitting on the couch we really stenched because we actually ran the terry fox run and i'm gonna be honest like she was already planning on like taking a shower and stuff and she's like oh like i'm gonna go take a shower and stuff and in my head i'm thinking like oh shower wait a minute we can do the devil's tango in the shower like why not like like who's gonna stop us it'll work at first she was really questioning about it and then at the same time she was like you know what like yeah why not like it's actually a really cool fun time and she was totally on board with it like after like five minutes of me explaining like you know just us in the shower like, like two birds one stone like big brain here bubba let's go w so we go into the shower and we start showering and we, we spend like more than like i want to say half an hour in there and before you guys say like anything yes i know the water bill would be insane for them i feel very bad and for those people that naturally take half an hour showers alone sitting on you know the ground probably crying listening to nf uh i've been there and it sucks i agree but once you're half an hour in the shower with another chick obviously you're gonna be like you know enjoying the devil's tango and that went on for like i said half an hour but here's when things went crazy because i want to say like a little while later we saw her phone like ringing on like the counter where the sink was and it just started vibrating and as we looked through the glass we saw that it was her dad calling her now this is where i started to kind of start panicking because i was like wait a minute like why is he calling you like you know like is he home i don't know and what the girl ends up doing is that she put her towel around her and instantly walks out of the shower she tells me oh don't worry like he might be this like you know like on the way home he's just telling me to, like pick up some stuff or it's just keep the door unlocked for him. I'll see what's up. And then she answers the phone once he called again and we realize something. This girl's father was legit at the door and she had to go get the door while I was in the bathroom. Now, this is where things get really iffy because I have no idea what to do. Like, I'm just sitting there like, what the heck am I doing and stuff like that. And this girl on the phone has the audacity to tell her father, oh, come in. Like, I'm just taking a shower. When she said that, my heart started racing. I had no idea what I was supposed to do in this scenario. Like, I literally remember me sitting there panicking in the shower. Like, I was literally actually sitting on the ground thinking, what am I going to do? So some of you guys are probably thinking, oh, like, you could just jump out the window and you know do some grand theft auto 5 stuff and just you know disappear Woo, bro it's a bathroom her bathroom had like a tiny window that i could not fit through as probably as small as i am as you guys may know i'm not able to do that so as we were trying to figure things out and see what's the best idea for me to do i remember there was a knock on the door and at first i was like that's it like i'm done i'm like out of it and stuff like that like i'm screwed but then after that the girl looks at me and tells me to go behind her door of the bathroom so obviously what did i do well i got my naked butt and i straight up went behind the door and you know kind of like hugged against the wall and the door and just prayed 
that he wouldn't see me. This girl literally opens the door in the most suspicious way. Like, I'm telling you, it was so suspicious. Like, obviously, like, if I was a dad, I would know there's something up. But she opens the door in the most suspicious way. She opens it, like, all the way. Like, with her just holding a towel. And she just says, what, dad? Bruh. This dad literally looks at her and was like, are you okay? Why are there shoes outside? And that's when I knew that my car, my vans were literally outside. There is no way this dad would not know I'm there. So what ends up happening? Well, as you may know, like the title says of this video, I got caught. He walks in, literally sees me behind the door and is like, oh, what are you doing here? And after that, you know, he literally like says like, get your clothes on. We got to talk after. Now, this is where I thought I was screwed. And I thought, you know, like, that's it. Like, I'm done. You know, this was such a bad idea. But then after that, he instantly just, you know, said like, gave me some time. I put on my clothes. I put on my shoes, all that stuff. And I, you know, I talked to him in the kitchen. He hands me a cup of water and he says this, you know, I was once a teenager too. And honestly, this is one piece of advice I want to give you. When you enter another man's home, at least say hi to the father before you go end up doing the daughter. Now, out of respect, I did apologize because, you know, I should have done that in the first place when he first caught me. But um, to this day, you know, like it always rings in my head how he didn't, you know, beat me up or he didn't like, you know, put a timer on me to run out of the house or something. He gave me the time and he actually took a minute to realize that we were teenagers. We didn't know anything. And that's where I'm going to cut off the story there. Thank you guys so much for enjoying this video and make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe if you guys watched all the way to the end. And like I always say, fall for more embarrassing stories. Peace.